Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another baby related video. I am so excited about this one because it's going to be a huge baby haul of pretty much everything I've got for the baby and pretty much everything I'm going to get. Like I made a huge checklist of everything that I need for the baby because if you don't know if you're new around here, this is my second baby. So I do feel like I've got a bit of a better idea of what I'm actually going to need since I already had one, I already know kind of what my preferences are and what I'm going to actually use. So I thought I would share with you my checklist. I will make sure, I think I'll link it in the description box maybe so that you can have that um, in case you are pregnant and you want to get this checklist for yourself of things that you might need for your baby. But please take this with a grain of salt. Like you might not need everything on my list or you might need a few things extra because everybody's a bit different everyone's situation's a bit different like around their home um their lifestyle if you want to breastfeed or bottle feed or whatever i'm gonna do basically a mix of both so yeah just keep that in mind and a lot of you have been actually requesting a video like this where i share everything i got the checklist and then also how much everything costs because i feel like having a new baby it's going to be a big expense so i tried my best to keep it budget friendly because we are you know kind of on our journey of saving money to buy a house so i didn't want to go overboard with baby stuff because i also know from my previous experience that a lot of these things that i'm going to show you they actually only use for like some of them only a month some of them for like a few months and then that's it um and for that reason as well i wanted to get quite a few things um pre-loved so i got quite a few bits on vinted actually i had never used vinted before but i wanted to give it a go because especially for baby clothes they can get so expensive if you get everything brand new um so i got quite a few from there um quite a few things i actually got from vinted that were brand new like they have the labels on them and they're sealed up so you can tell they're new they've never been used before but it's just from other moms who have maybe bought them or got them as gifts and they never ended up using them so they're selling them for like half the price so you can find loads of things like that on vinted um if you're a new mom if you want to get things more budget friendly let's go ahead and get started i feel like i'm already rambling but can you tell i'm excited i just feel like this has been such a long time coming if you are new around here we've been dealing with infertility and baby loss for the past two years like over two years and i think we got to a point where we didn't know if we would ever get to do this again to experience this again for the longest time in this pregnancy i didn't want to get anything because i was anxious and i was nervous something would go wrong and then in the past like two or three weeks i would say i feel like the nesting bug has really kicked in and i just wanted to get everything on my list i wanted to have everything ready um i still have like i'm 28 weeks now so there's still like three months until baby will be here give or take but um yeah i just wanted to have everything ready to go just in case it's a bit early or something so yeah nevertheless let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna start with the things that i'm gonna use in baby's room now we're not doing a separate nursery for now um baby's just going to sit in our room which is what i did with my firstborn with the victor so we're going to set things up in here at first probably in like the first six months or so of baby's life um she's gonna be in here with us and then um once she's a little bit older and i feel a bit more confident i she might you know transition to a proper nursery but yeah that's what i did with victor as well and it worked really well for us so the things that I've got, I've got my spreadsheet here with prices as well because everybody wanted to know how much everything cost and the, what the total is and I think you might be surprised at the total like uh, actually it ended up being less than I thought it would be so I, I think it would be fun to see what your guesses are, how much you think everything costs so put that in the comments below your guess on how much you think everything that I got is and um, so i got things for baby's room like the next to me crib changing mat everything like that i got things like pram um car seat clothes towels muslins baby bottles like all of those things so put in the comments down below your guess as to how much you think everything cost um and then i'll give you the total at the end as well starting with the things for baby's room i have on my list baskets for organizing so this is something i wanted to get and i had a few of them already so I am reusing those. Um, so I've got a few of these. These are just a pack of three, I think they were, that I got from 
Primark a long time ago so I'm trying to use things that I already have as well just using these for organizing baby's drawers and things like that I might use one of these to maybe put up here and make like a little changing station but yeah baby um, organizing baskets and I put this as around 15 pounds on my list because again I'm using some I already had and then I'm also I've also bought a few like this one from um, Tesco's just to kind of put more if I want to put more blankets in here or mu baby muslins or things like that that I don't want to just pop in the drawer and take up space in there now some of these things that I'm going to share with you are quite large um, and some of them are in storage so I'm not going to be able to properly show you but I do have some clips here and there and some pictures so I'm going to share that with you but the next thing on my list is a dresser with drawers now we already had a dresser in here so I just kind of cleared it out um, and I'm using that for baby's things um, and that dresser we had from Ikea it's the Colin one and it's a three drawer dresser it was around 50 pounds I think but I already had this so I didn't put it as an expense and I'm going to use that dresser for um, kind of as a changing station so I'm gonna put the changing mat on top of it so I don't need a separate one for that and then in the drawers obviously I'm gonna put baby <laughs> clothes and things like that. Next up, I've got a changing mat for baby to put on top of that dresser. Let me turn this around. So it's one of those like foamy ones and it's got um, lifted sides so that baby doesn't roll over. Like obviously you're not gonna leave the baby on there by itself, but um, this is the one that I got. I had something very similar with Victor and I really loved it for changing nappies and it's the perfect size to go on top of a dresser. Um, you can find these everywhere and you can find them really cheap or really expensive depending on your budget. This one is by Mabel and Fox, but I got it from someone on Vinted. Like Mabel and Fox is, is a bit more pricey than some other brands, but um, I got this on Vinted for £10. Um, so I think that's really good. And I'm including in the pricing the transport as well because you do pay for delivery on Vinted. Um, but even so, everything turns out to be so cheap. So that's the changing mat that I got. Then I got one of those next to me cribs that you um, kind of attach to the side of your bed. This is something we used with Victor and we loved. So I got another one of those. Um, the one we got this time is by Babylow, I think it's called. Um, and we got this on Vinted. Actually, I found this one. So my plan was to get the crib from someone on Vinted, but then to get a new mattress. Um, because obviously for hygiene reasons you might want new brand new mattress for your baby but I found this one on Vinted that's brand new like it has never been used before it was in the box um, so it's in storage but I'll insert a picture of what it looks like and I got this co-sleeper bed with the mattress brand new um, and it was 45 pounds I think originally it's like nearly double the price but yeah I thought that was quite a good uh, bargain on that so we're gonna use that probably for like the first few months of baby's life maybe six months depending on how big baby is then for a proper crib for the baby that's going to go in her nursery probably um, we have this IKEA crib that we had with Victor we still have that in the garage so we're just gonna reuse it it is a bit of a larger one like it's a toddler something size it's a bit bigger I can't remember the exact name of it but I'll try to include it here but if I were to buy one brand new right now I would probably still get an Ikea one but I would get the Ikea is it Gulliver I think that's what it's called um, it's just very plain very basic but it fits in a lot of places like it's not too bulky um, and it's really breathable because it's got the bars all around so I find that really really good um, so that's what I would buy if I were to get a crib but obviously I already had it um, so for that I just checked the prices on Ikea just in case you're wondering um, the Gulliver crib is 95 pounds and then the mattress that goes with it is 59 pounds so 154 in total but again this wasn't one of my expenses because I already have that crib that we're gonna reuse um, with this baby when she's a bit older. Then I wanted to get some sheets and a mattress protector, which I highly recommend. If you're a new mom, you need a mattress protector because they have spills, they have accidents, they like it's just going to happen. So you do need something to protect the mattress so it doesn't get all grimy. Um, so what I got is this um, set from Amazon. And by the way, I will try to link everything that I can in the description box in case you 
um, want to have a, a look yourself. It's a set of two fitted sheets and it's the size that goes with the co-sleeper, so it's like a smaller size. Um, and then it's got one waterproof mattress protector. So these are perfect for that. Like I just put the mattress protector on the bottom and then the sheet on top and it's nice to make sure it's fitted so that it's um, safe for baby sleeping in there. You don't want any loose covers, loose sheets, anything like that. So um, these I got on Amazon and they were 29 pounds for the whole set with the mattress protector as well. Then I've put on my list cozy blankets. So I got three of them at least so far um, but it's like so hard to resist baby blankets because they're so cute but I got this one from Vinted actually but it is brand new it has never been used before it's even got tags on it this kind of looks like my son's um, security blanket he has one but it's like white and gray and then he has one that's white and blue so this one is a pink one for baby girl and then I got these two from Amazon um, and they are so cute. They've got rainbows on. So yeah, it's a really good size as well. It's perfect for covering them when they're having a nap or, um, you know, if you go outside and you want to cover them in the pram, this is perfect for that. Um, so I got two of these and then that one. So I've got three in total because they do get them quite dirty. Like, you know, they spit up on them and you just need quite a lot of changes of things like this. And I put the total here 20 pounds because I believe these ones were eight or, or nine pounds each on Amazon and then the vintage one was really inexpensive I think like two or three pounds but it is brand new so yeah I think I put 20 pounds for all of those then I put on my list baby monitor we already have one from Victor from my son the brand is just like a really random one that I had never heard of before to be honest um, so we got this in Romania I'm not sure if you can find it here but you can find loads of similar ones on Amazon and I know um, some people like getting the baby monitor that connects to your phone but the thing about that is if you want to have you know to see the baby at all times you will have to be using your phone at all times and um, you can't use it for something else and like to scroll on Instagram or whatever and then also at the same time it will drain your battery um, to have it you know turned on at all times to see the baby when it's napping so for me I just prefer having the baby monitor that has its own like little device thingy so it doesn't really connect to my phone but I'm absolutely fine with that and I had a look on Amazon to see how much baby monitors are these days and one that looks very similar to the one we had which I'm going to link down below is about 40 pounds um, I didn't put it as my expense because obviously I already had it then I wanted to get a baby swing um, so I had my eye on this um, joy one that it's like really cool swing um, I mean I'm not sure if baby's going to like it or not. Victor loved sitting in his swing, so that's why I got another one this time. It's really helpful, like if I want to put her in the kitchen when I'm cooking and I want to have somewhere to put her down or sometimes in the living room. Um, so yeah, it's just handy for things like that. Maybe if I want to put her in the bathroom while I'm having a shower <laughs> or something. Um, so I got this baby swing, which I think it, originally these Joy swings are like over a hundred pounds. So I got this one from Vinted. It has been used, but it looks like it's in great condition. So I'm just gonna give it a wash and it's going to be like brand new. Um, and I got it for um, 48 pounds with delivery as well. It's quite a bulky item, so delivery was quite a bit, but in total it was 48 pounds, so I feel like it's a really good price for that. And I liked the swing because it swings back and forth and then also side to side. And you can take the center bit off and just use it as a bouncer, like if you want to bounce the baby or it's got the vibrations because I feel like it's nice to have a variety of things to try with your baby because you never know what they're going to like. Like this baby might hate the swing, I don't know, but Victor loved it. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that um, this little one loves it too. And then one more thing that I got for kind of like room things is a baby nest. Now I have never had one of these with Victor. I am not sure if they were around back then. They probably were, but I just didn't know about it. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's by Clap and Mama. I got this on Vinted as well, but it's in really great condition. I got this for 15 pounds. And I know the like sleepy head or dock thought, I think they're pretty much the same thing, but they are so expensive. <laughs> 
So I just wanted to get this one, which I'm pretty sure does the exact same thing. So I am curious to see if baby girl likes this because I have no idea. Like I've never used something like this with Victor. But then moving on to kind of transportation things that you need for the baby. So we got our pram and car seat. It's like in a package together. So it's the pram that's got the baby carry cot thingy um it's got the one that's for six months plus like the proper seat that goes on the push chair and then it's also got the car seat attachment that goes on it so the whole kind of pram travel system was from eye candy but we got it on vinted now eye candy push chairs are quite pricey um but i got ours on uh, vinted for 170 pounds which is pretty amazing like if you know the pricing on eye candy push chairs you will know how inexpensive that is and then I just had to get the isofix base that goes in the car because um, the person that I bought the, the pusher from she didn't have the isofix base so I just bought that separately also on Vinted um, and I got it for a really good price I got it for 30 pounds as well so that's kind of the whole travel system complete and then I got a buggy board also on Vinted I mean you probably don't need this if you're a first-time mom but I got a buggy board for Victor for my five-year-old because I think when we come back from school like on a school run if I have the pusher with me and he's tired then he can just sit on that buggy board um, and I can push both of them together which is brilliant so I got the buggy board for 35 pounds um, and that's really like it's I think it's like half price of a new one like a brand new one but I don't know I feel like it's quite expensive like most buggy boards that I've seen are 60 70 pounds and it's like literally a piece of plastic with two wheels on it it's like i find that insane but a lot of baby things i feel like are so overpriced but getting off on a tangent here then i also got this for the car it's a baby um car mirror so it's when you put the car seat especially in the beginning um like a year or two of their lives they're going to be um rear facing so facing away from you um and i do like to have a mirror i loved having this with victor as well just because if i'm driving i would love to see what baby's doing in the back if they're okay um so i got this from amazon for 12 pounds and then these two are things that we actually had from victor but i saved them for this baby too so this first one is a baby sling like one of those wrap thingies um, i loved wearing victor in this when he was um, a newborn so we have this one and then i also have this one for um you can still use this i think from like the first stages i'm not sure if newborn but like the first few months so it's just a baby carrier as well but it's a bit different um it's got the velcro on it and this is the one that i probably used the most um but yeah so i'm still gonna use both of these and i already had them from victor as i said but these brand new i think are about 50 pounds each baby carrying is so so helpful especially if you want to have two free hands for like cooking or doing other things around the home um while your baby is happily on your chest <laughs> now moving on to clothes for the baby i do have a list here but i didn't like specifically buy 10 of these items or five of these items so i just can have a random number of each i bought a few bundles of clothes from vintage which were really great price like i got a pack of leggings for five pounds and they were like 10 leggings in there um i got a pack of leggings with the top with a jumper for 10 pounds and i think there were 10 in there as well so you can get so many um cute baby items for a really good bargain price now i'm gonna show you what i got so on my list i have pajama sleep suits so uh my goal was to have about 10 pajama sleep suits some of them are zip ones which i prefer and then some of them are just kind of like those snap thingies which um some of these i had from victor and then some of these are brand new i also have a couple of them that i need to wash so they're not in here um, but I've put about 15 pounds for all of these. Obviously, some of them are free because I already had them. And then I got a bundle of them um, for 15 pounds. So those are pajama suits like this. Um, so that's one thing that was on my list. And then in here is like the bulk of baby items, like baby clothes. So I had on my list leggings, which are all in here. So these are all trousers and leggings. Now, they are a bit different size. Some of them are zero to one month old and then some of them are zero to three months old so they're slightly bigger um as baby grows obviously then in here i've got long sleeve 
um, baby onesies and then these are kind of short sleeves and vests so these will be good for layering because baby will be born in winter so um, it's gonna be like wearing these vest tops or vest onesies um, with a jumper on top and some leggings um, so that's kind of my plan and these are all the jumpers that I have um, right here when we're around the house I might just put her in one of these long sleeve onesies but I did want to have some jumpers as well. I think for the whole leggings, baby grows jumpers, I've put about 33 pounds. That's kind of how much I paid. Like some of these things I already had from Victor, but a lot of them I did buy from Vinted as well. Then I put on my list a teddy, like a uh, full on onesie. And this is for outdoors, obviously, um, because baby is going to be born in winter. So it's going to be chilly. I did get one more of these as a present. Um, so I'm just going to have two, which is great because I'm going to have one in case this one gets dirty. But I've put one on my list. This one was from H&M when my son was a little one. But I think they are about £14 pounds, um, on H&M at least. Another thing on my list is socks. So obviously you're going to need little socks. So I've just got a variety of them on here. And then I also got these from... Um, these are all that I had from Victor. And then these um, I got from... Tesco, so they're just really cute little socks. So these were four pounds fifty. And then also on my list, I've got hats, like hats and some mittens, which I got because um, it's going to be winter. So I have one of these that's a bit thicker, and then um, I have these that I got from Tesco, um, and they're so cute. They've got a little face on them, and these were um, a pack of three for five pounds. Then I had dribble bibs on my list. Um, so for the dribble bibs, I think I put five pounds in total because I got these from Vinted, but they are brand new. They've never been used. Like <laughs> they're still on the little um, tag thingy. They will be drooling a lot. Maybe not right when they're born, like as newborns, but once the teeth start bothering them, which is quite soon, um, at least it was for Victor, you do need these because otherwise they'll be just like a puddle here <laughs> on their jumper. Then I've also put on my list a sleeping bag. I loved using sleeping bags with Victor because I felt like it was a much safer way for them to sleep rather than having a blanket on them. So I have this one that Victor wore a lot. <laughs> um, and this is one that we got from Ikea, I think. But obviously it was a long time ago. I'm not sure if they still carry them. It's fab honestly especially for night time because it's got the zip on it it's super quick to open to change their nappy um and i'm not sure it doesn't have the tag on it so i'm not sure what size this is like what age but the thing about sleeping bags is that you don't want their head to be able to kind of go down in the sleeping bag if that, if that makes sense so they don't slide down into it so you want it to be really snug around their neck so it obviously depends on the baby but I have this sleeping bag that I'm going to use once she fits into it. I don't think it will be good for a newborn. But yeah, so I have this one for a bit further down the line. When she's a newborn, this is what I'm planning to do now. We will see how it goes. Um, I have heard of these Love to Dream, I think. Is that what they're called? Love to Dream Swaddles. Um, so they look like this. Um, and it's basically a, a swaddle like it makes baby feel really nice and secure in there um, But their hands can stay up like this next to their face, which Victor really loved and um, I think this baby will too because I've seen in the scans She often has her hands up here. So I got two of these. We'll see how we get on um, they are quite pricey to get brand new So I got them on Vinted. I got a pack of two of them for 20 pounds so 10 pounds each and yeah we'll see how we get on but hopefully they will help her sleep a bit better okay so that's as far as kind of clothing goes now my next part of the checklist is things for bath time and for just kind of caring for them in general so i have got a nappy caddy for downstairs where i'm gonna put um nappies and wipes looks like this i got it on amazon it was eight pounds and it's a felt one which is really cool i might use it in a drawer somewhere downstairs or i might just kind of have it somewhere on the side i'm not sure yet but it comes with these um dividers that you put they're just like velcro ones and you put them inside um to obviously divide this as you need it then i put on my list nappies now these are things that i haven't actually bought a lot of yet i do have some nappies from pampers that i got for free in a little like mom to be pack so i put 
10 pounds on my list for nappies obviously you're gonna need so many more than that and then i've also got on my list wet wipes which i've put five pounds for um and i've got these are just ones that i got um for free the huggies ones um i think i've used these before with victor and they were fine obviously wipes and nappies will be on your shopping list for like the next few years but yeah then i've got on my list nappy rush cream um so i got the uh befanten one i used this with victor and it was great at keeping their nappy area um rush free so this worked great for us i got it again i got it from amazon and it was six pounds i believe then i've got on my list a travel changing mat so we have this one that i had from ikea i think they still have these or similar ones um it looks like this on this side and then on the other side it's like waterproof fabric um so it won't leak through and this is perfect because it folds really small it doesn't take up a lot of space in your um in your changing bag and it's perfect to take with you obviously if you need to change them somewhere so i used this a lot with victor and i plan on using it with this little one too i did have this but i think it's about five pounds on the ikea website then i've got bath gel and body lotion so the i used these with victor and i think it's like a sentimental thing as well but the smell of these just reminds me of those early newborn days and i because i opened one of them and i used it on victor um for his bath and i just love the smell of these so i got the mustela ones from amazon so this is the washing gel this was nine pounds and then the bath lotion was eight pounds so you might need this because they might get um dry skin or maybe you want to do some baby massage so having like a lotion or an oil baby oil is great for that then i've got on my list baby bath towels i have two of these one of them i already opened for my son because he wanted to play with it i was sure he would want one as well so i got two um and these are from the mrs hinge collection in tesco's they were 12 pounds each so 24 pounds for both of them um how cute are these i just couldn't resist them and they've got a little bunny ears and i think they will look so cute when you are giving them a bath then you need muslin cloths now i might need more than this i might buy some more in the future but this is what i've got so far so i've got these big muslin cloths um that i have had since victor was a baby and they were by the same brand i believe all of them or m most of them i can't remember exactly but they were by this brand little bamboo and i love it because it's such a nice soft fabric so i got these ones which are like a, a big um a square one like a proper blanket one so these are handy for lots of different things like spoddling them or using it on your changing mat or um, as a blanket um and then i also got these little ones so these are just like a tiny square and this is a pack of six um, and these are great for using either as dribble bibs um, if you want to put on yourself for when you burp them and they're great for washing them so as washcloths as well so i didn't have to buy the big ones because i already had them but those are around 18 pounds on amazon and then these little ones are nine pounds on amazon that's where i got them as well then i don't have this on me um but i did get the um tommy tp i think it was the baby care kit so it's got nail clippers inside it's got little scissors it's got a thermometer everything like that a little baby brush so i got that with victor and i really really loved it that's what i'm going to use with this baby as well the only thing i wasn't keen on in that kit is the thermometer because i think it's one of those not sure if they changed it but when i got mine it was one of those that you had to wait to get their temperature which you can't do that with a baby so um we have this thermometer it's an infrared one that you put on your forehead and it's not too expensive and it's great because you just do it instantly um you don't even have to touch them um and it's perfect that's what we use with victor as well and it's perfect to check their temperature and um, that's what i recommend so i think this whole kind of care kit would be around um 24 pounds then i have i have to look around for it i think it's in victor's room this one or, or somewhere in storage the nose frida snot sucker this is a lifesaver because obviously babies can't blow their nose but sometimes they get really snotty um and this worked great it's like one of those that you put in your mouth and you suck their little boogers out and don't worry it's not gross i mean it looks a bit gross but it doesn't get in your mouth or anything it does have a filter um but this worked great so i'm gonna reuse that and that is about six pounds on amazon then i did get this bath thermometer um this is by tommy tp it was 
13 pounds on um on amazon just to check the water temperature in their bath because at least for me like once you are kind of postpartum i think even in pregnancy you don't feel the temperature properly like sometimes for you it might not feel like it's that hot but it can be so it's really great to have something to actually check that the water temperature is fine and you can also use this as a room thermometer when you're not using it in the bath now we already have some room thermometers and our thermostat obviously shows you the temperature as well so i don't feel like we're gonna need this for the room but for the bath um we will then we also got a baby bath tub with victor i think initially we got this huge baby bath tub which had a stand i do not recommend that it's so heavy it's so impractical um so i would definitely not buy that again so instead we got this little one it looks like this it's by schnoggle i think that's what it's called um and it's brilliant because you can either put this obviously in the big bathtub or you can just have it on its own and inside it's got this little um stand thingy so they don't slip down it's got a little thing to take off to drain the water and it's great because they say i think that you only need yeah you only need two liters of water to give them a bath in this which is great because you're not gonna have a lot of waste like if you have one of the bath stands that just goes in the bath you would still have to fill the bath quite a bit and use up quite a lot of water and that bathtub was from amazon and it was 21 pounds then i've got laundry detergent um fabric softener and the color catcher um, sheets as well which are brilliant because if you wash baby clothes they have so many different colors and i don't want to have to separate them so i just pop a color catcher in there and it works perfectly um it's what i use with victor as well and the laundry detergent and the fabric softener obviously i get the non-bio like sensitive baby skin ones and they were the whole thing for washing baby's clothes is 15 pounds that's how much it was for me then moving into kind of breastfeeding or bottle feeding depending on what you want to do i plan on doing a mix of both the first thing on my list is nursing bras and tops now i got these um, from h&m and in total they were about 35 pounds for a pack of um, two of each but the thing is the sizing was wrong so i'm gonna send them back and get a different size but that's what i'm going to use i loved the ones from h&m last time as well then um you might need a nursing pillow um it does help i actually didn't end up using mine that much with victor to be honest which is why i'm not buying a specific nursing pillow this time i do have my pregnancy pillow which is the one from ikea and i might use that but i'm not going to buy a separate one but the pillow that i have is about 14 pounds i think on ikea then also for nursing you are most likely going to need breast pads so i got these from amazon they're by lanzino i really liked this brand i used it a lot with victor as well so these are 60 um disposable breast pads and these were five pounds then also from lanzino i got the nipple cream the lanolin nipple cream which you're going to need because your nipples can get quite sore um so this really really helped me um and this was eight pounds um on amazon too i also got nipple shields i used these with victor too because at some point i had was so sore that i just needed some protection on top to be able to carry on with nursing and these were also from amazon and they were eight pounds too and i also really wanted to get a breast pump because i used mine so much with victor i actually pumped quite a bit when he was a baby um, i might talk about all of that in a different video but i got this one this time so last time i had the spectra one but it had all the wires and things and um i don't think these existed when victor was a baby i i can't remember um i know spectra and medela are really good but these ones are supposed to be great because they are also hands-free so you just pop them in your bra and they sit on their own they don't have any wires which oh, it just sounds brilliant because I faffed so much with that pump. I, I really disliked it, to be honest. Like, it did a good job. It did great. But I didn't like the whole process, <laughs> to be honest. So I'm hoping these will help. These are by Mom Cozy. And it's the double um, breast pump. It's got two of them. And it's the S9. Um, I actually got this. So on Amazon, I think it's over £100. Like 120 something. But I got this on Vinted. And it's brand new. Like the person who sold this never used it it's sealed up inside and i got this for 55 pounds so i think you can find loads of great things um on vintage like this then i put bottles on my list so i got this set um i've got bottles bottle cleaning brush and soap now this comes with a cleaning brush inside 
This um, is the one that we used with Victor as well and it worked great. It's by Tommy TP. And these were also from Vinted, but they are brand new. They've never been used. Again, they're sealed inside. And these were 13 pounds with the delivery as well. And then I also got the bottle cleaner. This one was just from Tesco and it was five pounds. I've also put formula for around 13 pounds on my list. I am going to get one to have just in case. Um, we'll see how we get on with breastfeeding, but I want to have that in the house just in case. Um, and then I also put pacifiers on my list for around three pounds. I got a few of them from Sainsbury's, I think. And then I also have a few in here. Um, so I'm just going to use those. But yeah, so the total now, again, I do have some things that I didn't have to buy because I had them from Victor, but the total of everything that I bought was 792 pounds and I feel like I'm pretty sad like I have pretty much everything that I'm gonna need for the baby I think <laughs> from what I can remember um, and then the things that I already had I kind of looked up to the prices of them as you probably saw because I shared with you kind of how much everything is if you had to buy it as well so the things that I already had from Victor would probably be around 426 pounds that's how much those would be so the total for everything you would need for your baby I think would be around 1218 pounds so that's kind of how much everything that I bought would be again I paid 792 pounds which um I think is quite good for the amount of stuff that I got for baby and the thing is I try to be more minimalist like not to get too much but you do need a lot of these things for baby like I'm pretty sure I'm going to use everything that I bought or nearly everything that I bought so yeah I hope this was helpful I feel like it was such a long video but um I hope it helped you if you're a brand new mom Who's just going through this for the first time don't forget to check out the checklist um and yeah i hope you're having a lovely day and i will see you in my next video bye guys